All right, in this video, I'm going to do my best job trying to teach you guys how to use the pen tool. Okay, so pen tool here is on the left. You hold it down there. They have things called add anchor point, delete anchor point, convert anchor point tool, whatever else. Okay, first of all, when you're drawing a path, when you're drawing a with the pen tool, if you click once, that creates an anchor point. If you hold your mouse over it, it actually says anchor. If I click in another place, if I want, by the way, if I want to be straight, I can press hold on shift. If I click again, it creates another anchor point. The thing in between is not a line. It's called a path. Okay? And so if I, for this simple one, I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm just clicking once. I can click again. I can click again. And to finish it up, it looks like it's finished. But the path only goes from the top, sides, bottom, up to here. There's the, the fill color is on, so it looks like it. But it's actually not going all the way to point. So I want to make sure I go to the top. And if you notice, right next to the pen, you're not going to see this unless you hit the HD button and go full screen, but if you look at the pen, there's a little circle around it. That means it's finishing. Um, it's finishing at that spot. So if you hold your mouse over different areas, it'll show you what it's doing. So this is filling it up. So that is that object pretty much right there. Um, you know, I can, I can hit this button right here if I want the opposite, so I just see the outlines. Uh, but that's how you do it. So um, if you want to go in there and change it, you can use your direct select. And you can grab those individual points and pull them however they want. All right. Looks like I went a little more of an angle and this object was a little larger. Um, but something like that's fine. Okay. Now, the thing about the pen tool that a lot of people get frustrated on is the, you know, curving, you know, pulling the anchor points out. Um, so let's, let's do that. So I'm going to click once and I'm clicking and dragging. Okay and then I let go. Now what this is, it's an anchor point right here. It's not a line yet, it's just an anchor point. You can see these little handlebars coming out um, and what that is, it says that's the strength of the line coming out. So if for example I click down here, you would think it'd be straight. Well no it's not because the strength of the handlebar is coming out to here. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. So let me click here and you can see that it came out and then down like this. It didn't go straight to it because of this handlebar. So if I hold down Alt, it changes into um, my transform tool for the pen tool, and I can grab that handle and I can move it around, and you can see how it's affecting. The anchor points do not change, only the line, the path. So if I, for example, want it to be a straight line, I could just shorten this up. The, the handlebar is very weak, it's not doing anything. If the handlebar is very strong, it really pulls it out. See how that works? Okay. So let me start over and try to draw this thing, okay? So I'm gonna click and drag, and then go immediately below it, and click and drag in this direction. And if those little handlebars on the right side are level, then it should be, um, they should have the same strength, so the angle's the same. All right, and then same with this. I'm gonna go, now the power's coming off it this way, so I'm gonna go directly below it and drag it the other way. I hope you can see the screen on your screen and then go directly below that and go the opposite direction as well. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, I hope that makes sense. You're definitely getting more practice on the guitar in a moment. Um, and so let's say this heart, for example. I would click, oops, sorry, I need to click and drag because I need to have some strength coming up because I want it to have this curve coming off of this point. And then click and drag down. Nope, mine's gonna end up being a little smaller. Um, but that's okay, actually I can, I believe I can grab that point. Ugh, I don't want to mess with it. And then if I go directly below this anchor point, you can see it actually already has a curve coming off it, which is great. And then I'm going to go to the right side of it and drag up. And then click the middle and drag down. Now you notice it's screwing with the other one, which is fine. We're going to let it go. And I'm going to let it go right there. Now I need to pull this one up too. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and you can see it turn into that little triangle thing and I'm going to grab that bottom handle and bring that one up. So it's only affecting one side. There you go, and there's my heart. Um, another way you could do this is just draw one line and then reflect it and then merge it, but that's all right. Um, this isn't really perfect, so I could use my direct select tool and go in there and then grab anchor points and you know pull them out. You know, I probably want to pull this one down. You know, that's probably a little bit better heart. Maybe that's too far. And let me show you too, you can also click on anchor points and these handlebars come back up. You know, so if I wanted to make that a little stronger, I could bring it down or whatever else. Okay. 
Uh, the thing I notice is probably this needs to be just a touch wider. Oh, then the other side needs to be a little wider too. Nah, I don't want to get into that game. It's fine. It's a heart. <laughs> if you want to make sure the opposite side is the exact same way, you can use um, a grid, or you could just, like I said, create one side and then reflect it. Okay, and then the guitar. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Uh, again, if you can't see these anchor points that I'm making, these lines, then please go to HD in full screen. You're going to be able to see it a lot easier. Okay, so um, I'm going to start at this point right here so you can see it. I'm going to just click once on it. That made my anchor point, and I need to curve up. So I'm going to go up to this point up here, and I'm going to drag it, and right there it's on the line. Now, basically you want to go to the point where the direction changes. So right now the direction is going to change down here. So I'm going to go to that point and drag it down. Or if I already know it's coming off that strong, I could probably go up to here and then just drag it down so it kind of fills in the valley. All right. Um, power is coming off this in this direction, so I could probably end up going down to here. Um, ideally, you want to stay on the line if it's a gradual curve like this. So I'm just going to pull this until I'm, I'm along this edge here. Okay. And now that I've done that point, I really could go farther down. So I'm going to go a little farther here. And maybe this is too far. Um, if I screw it up, I can just Control-Z to undo. I probably went too far. So I'm going to go here instead and finish that up because it's kind of a straight point. Okay. And go a little farther. And just keep going. It, it's going to be really frustrating the first couple times you do this. It's just the way it is. Um, now see I'm com coming too strong off this I could try to see what it does see it's not really going to quite work I'm just going to keep going and finish it up and I'm going to cross over this because you're not going to see it later and then I can go back and direct select on this anchor point here and I'm going to grab that handlebar while holding on alt and I'm only going to affect the one side which is good um, so that's a lot better it's not perfect I could go in through here and try to move these anchor points or grab the handlebars. Um, you can play with that if you'd like. Um, and then this bottom part is very similar. Um, what I could do is try to copy this and paste it. Oops, not just that point, but all of it. Make sure your direct select's on, or your uh, selection tool's on, or press V. I could copy and paste all of that and try to get the bottom to match up with it as well. It's really close already. You know, if I want to go in there, I could just grab my direct select tool and go in there and mess with the anchor points and try to get it to uh, snap on. Or, you know what, for me, it's honestly probably just a little faster to draw it again. So, um, you don't want to affect this one at all. So, I'm going to go up to here and just go through there. It'd be good practice for you anyways. Just kind of see how I'm doing it and make it work for you. Um, it just takes a little bit of practice. I, I don't know what else to say with it. It's really frustrating when you first start using it, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad at all. There we go. And then I can just finish this one up. Okay. Um, do all the points that I'm showing you. Uh, let me just show you if I you know, fill this in with like whatever color. Then if I grab this. Um, and by the way, if I want to grab the actual color, I can click on this. And for the fill color, I could use my eyedropper. We haven't used that before yet. And I could just kind of click that red. And that way that becomes that color. And then I could turn a stroke too if I want to use that. But uh, just send that one to the back or send backward. And that way it looks like it's you know that part of the guitar. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's that. Uh, for now though, I would probably keep both of those. I'd probably fill no nothing. So that way I can create these other shapes and then layer them on top of each other. Okay, so <coughs> if it's a different color, it should be a different object. So for like uh, this handle right here, it should all be the same. Like that would just be one its own object. Okay, if you're gonna put the lines on it, those should be different objects. All right, um, that wasn't really a very good job, but you get the idea. And so you know, go through and make the handlebar and do the circles and whatever else and then like I said just fill them in and when you fill them in consider using a gradient um, obviously that doesn't really work well but um, I'm gonna let you, I've showed that in other videos just watch a different video if you wanna worry about gradients so finish that up it should look like the guitar when you're done 
and that's about it. And then box five would be, you know, if you want to do something of your on your own. Good luck. Have fun.